What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. So today we headed up river. We up the big Saluda River right now. Gonna fish probably 20 to 30 foot starting out trying to find some uh, trees and brush piles out here just in the middle. We're gonna test out the new jig that we made in the last video. See if we can get a bite on it. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out and then come back to this one. I believe it's gonna work good. There's a lot of shad. Uh, the water temp's 86 degrees, but honestly, with all the shad, it's kind of like they're coming into like a, a, a mini fall pattern. So, could be good, could be bad. They could be eating too much, but we're just gonna troll around, see if we can't catch our old hee haw. So we got a pack of the new jig. Don't have a name for it yet. So hopefully we can think of one today. Got a couple good suggestions in the last video. So it probably won't be too hard to name. We're gonna use this on a 1 16th ounce jig head. And I'm using my Thirteen foot ACC crappy stick with the old B and M shrimp reel. Since I'm fishing so deep, I'm probably going to put a split shot on just so I can get down there and see my jig just a little bit better. Not a big split shot. I mean, we're already running a 1 16th ounce jig head, so you don't need nothing too huge. So, plan is I'm gonna stick my live scope about 60 foot and just start trolling until I see a, a tree or a fish with a big old striper right there or something. Just jumped. <laughs> oh, let's go find one. first one not what I'm looking for though <laughs> little seven incher but he bit that's the main thing so we caught one on this thing I think drag wasn't set about didn't catch him there's so much shad out here it is unreal I mean, they got plenty to eat, so you're gonna have to pretty much stick it in their face to get them to bite, I believe. I gotta find some good ones. Sit there and have to work them for a little bit. But, that's fishing. Hopefully we'll find some bigger ones. I done checked a couple of trees that was deep, but there wasn't no dang fish on it. This one's about 16 foot of water. I got that bite. But I mean, this brush pile is loaded with shad too. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, sir. <laughs> there we go, nice black crappie. Calm down, buddy. Got that new jig in his face. I'm honestly leaning towards naming it Magic. Minnow Magic or something like that. 
that's what I'm leaning towards. I just kind of, you know, with all the rainbow and scales and all that on it, kind of fits the name. That's two on the jig. Drop it back down there, see if we can't get another one. They're biting pretty light. But I seen him come up and grab it. Here comes another one. You know, we know what depth that they want to bite at, so it honestly wouldn't be hard to go just scan in like 18 foot of water. And you could probably find some more brush piles where they want to bite. But I mean, there's a lot of brush piles here in the main river. Just out here, I mean, you just gotta find them. I didn't know where this brush pile was at. But I just turned my live scope up to like 65 foot. And when I see a blob, I go check it out. And that's how I found this brush pile. Decent one. <clears throat> so now this brush pile is in 19 foot. So. Ain't really found the sweet spot yet. Oh, nice team, isn't you? Still rocking that magic minnow. bunch of them interested so we should be able to pick up at least two of this pile maybe more there we go that's a good one oh yeah I ain't no roof in the mouth too. He's got my net ready. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Sweet. Hee haw. I'm quick. Oh yeah. Hook fell right out. That's a nice copy right there, guys. Took some cohesion. <laughs> That freaking magic mina got him, though. Golly. Biggest one of the day so far. Probably 12 inches, give or take. That little magic mina. It is nine o'clock. We started at about eight. We've got five really decent fish for this time of year. We got four about nine ten inches and we got one probably 12 13 incher definitely a good start to the day they do seem like their own kind of a fall pattern there's so much bait everywhere so luckily the magic minna that i i guess that's the name i'm going with it guy I'm just gonna call it magic i mean it's already called the little minna so we're just gonna go with magic but it's definitely standing out and working so I'm pretty sure we can get a lemon in the boat today. It might take a little while because I mean, every brush pile you're only getting about two or three, but they're decent fish, so I can't complain. Now we're, I literally don't even want to look at this dock right here because it is probably loaded and they're not gonna bite. <laughs> so I'm 
I'm gonna work these brush piles out here. And then I'll go check that out. Seems like there's a couple right here on this little tiny thing. Maybe. There's one out here that looks like it's got some on it. Oh yeah. Toss it on in there. Should be a perfect little cast. Looks like some pretty good fish. Here we go. Come on. Get it, big boy. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real good one. <laughs> ah, hee haw. Got a moth, dude. <laughs> Look how big this fish is. God, I gotta get my damn net ready. I got this big old fish. And my dang net. It's caught up in all kinds of crap. He's hooked in the roof of the mouth, so I ain't got too much to worry about. What do I got on this dang net? Oh my gosh. Come here, dude. Alright, we got him in the net. It's all messed up. That is a freaking giant, man. <laughs> All right, our net is ready. Magic minute in your face. Holy crap. Whew. I'd be freaking out more if I wasn't trying to get the net. I ain't got my scale with me. That's a nice crappie right there. Let's see how, how long he is. Let's see. Uh, he's about 13 and a half. 13 and a half summer time crapper. Yes, sir. Oh, man. I think this jig works, y'all. All right. So the time has come. I'm gonna make myself mad. Fix my jig. That might be why they didn't want to bite over there. I need a new jig. <clears throat> Probably with like six or seven. On one jig. Dang hook spent. Didn't even know. <laughs> I ain't even shined all the way up under there and I already see fish. Makes you mad on my school. <laughs> Unreal. Let's see if we can get them to work. Maybe they will. If they do, this won't take long. A lot of small ones. There's some decent ones in there. All of them are right there in the dang middle, too. Alright, so they're 15 feet that way. What is the best way to get up in there? I mean, I could just ram them, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Oh. Right. 
See if we can get one out of here. Well, that didn't take long. That's a good one too. <laughs> oh man, I love fishing. Nice little eater. Nice one. Come down, buddy. Magic mana. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirteen more to go. That's one easy way to find a brush. I ain't even got to find it with the bird. But I see it sticking out of the water, so I'm gonna go check it out. See, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the brush is just sticking out of the water. So I turn my transducer on. As soon as it comes back on, we'll be able to check it. And I ain't even got to put the trolling motor in the water. So I think there's pretty good many fish right now. I don't know what size they are. Let's catch a couple of them and see. There's one on it. Not the size we're looking for. It's an eater. And on the back side of it, every other bite I've had so far been a dang brim, I guess. Ugh. Finally got one at the bridge. <laughs> long enough oh. they here it's just very very slow get them to want to bite we might be able to grind it out we don't need too many more so if we can just get them to bite and figure out how they want them We'll be all right. All right, guys. We ended up at about 15, I guess. Just got too high for me. Didn't bring nothing to drink. That was my fault. I was running late this morning. I had plenty of stuff at home to grab, but didn't grab it. Ugh. But the jig works. And guess what? It's live on the website right now. Go pick you up some magic minnows. Uh, the jig works, guys. Anyways, if you could, smash the like button for me, and I'll catch you on the next one.